Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please pause for the 30 seconds of silence. Good morning, Grizzlies. I'm Brian. I'm Isa. And I'm Sophie with GNN, your Grizzly News Network. Today is Wednesday, February 14th, 2024. Happy Valentine's Day, Grizzlies. Are you looking for an affor affordable way to celebrate this day of love? For just a $2 entrance fee, you can go to check out the Ethel M. Chocolate Factory, Cactus Garden. It has been turned into a sea of red, pink, and purple. The $2 entrance fee is donated to charities. Then you can get a heart-shaped box of chocolates inside. No matter how you celebrate or not, we hope that you still have a great Valentine's Day, Grizzlies. And to celebrate Valentine's and Black History Month, today is dress with your soulmate and match shoes or your whole outfit if you want. Thursday is Throwback Thursday with 90 day, 90s Day, so pull out your flannels, loose jeans, and concert tees. Finally on Friday, show off your culture and embrace your roots with Culture Swag Day. We hope you participate this week, Grizzlies. And to help kids honor Black History Month, BSU students are talking to students about what they know. Here's a look. So today we're here with Bonnie, and I'm going to be asking you, can you name five R&B black female artists? <laughs> Lauren Hill, Summer Walker, SZA, Erica Badu, and her. Hey Brian, do you think I can still buy my yearbook? Of course you can, Sophie. You can. Sh the theme for this yearbook is built different. As you can see, the cover embodies the idea with the grizzly bear that is built by pieces of bright colored shapes. The cover has an upgraded feel to it, as well as some grit and glossy areas. So make sure to secure your copy now. A reminder, yearbooks are still $90 right now. You can still get yours at jostens.com. Our SVHS DECA students did amazing at this year's DECA State Career Development Conference. 10 of our students placed in the top 10, 6 role play winners, 2nd place state winner, and 3rd place state winner. A huge shout out to the whole group for representing Spring Valley well. Wednesday is a busy day for club meetings, and there's a new club on campus, Fitness Club, and they meet today. They plan to meet every Wednesday and Friday from 2.01 to 3.01 p.m. to get a 45 minute CrossFit workout in, along with nutrition and healthy habits information. They'll be meeting in room 913. Also today, writing club meets where they go over writing and write more of their own. They meet in room 813. Do you like anime? Then you might want to check out Anime Club. They meet today in room 818. Or come practice your sign language, ASL. Club will be meeting in room 218. Mock Chow is learning all about the justice system and they meet in room 406 today. Or check out Armenian Student Union. They'll be meeting today in room 226. Come celebrate the Armenian culture with them. Her club will meet this week in room 812. BSU is also meeting today in room 200. Best Buddies will be meeting bi-weekly every other Wednesday at room 804. They'll be meeting this week. Vietnamese club is also meeting bi-weekly. They will meet this week in room 232. And FCCLA is back at it with its meetings today in Portable 1. Remember, all clubs meet at 201 p.m. Grizzlies. Get ready to get to know Hollywood Wicked Creepy Family as Spring Valley's Theater presents The Adams Family Showing. They'll be performing next Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, the 22nd through the 24th at 6 p.m. each night. And there is an extra Métis showing on Saturday at noon. Make it a family outing. Tickets are $7 for students and $10 for adults. You can scan the QR code now to buy yours. Student Council Club will be hosting a volunteering event for all students. Handmade felt toys will be made and donated to a foster care for children. They'll be making them on February 22nd from 2 to 4 p.m. in room 503. Come join and gain community service while bringing smiles to children. Are you a seasoned poet? 
a rap genius, or a first-time wordsmith, Poetry Club might be just for you. Everyone is welcome to share, inspire, and connect through the magic of language and dive into the world of rhythm and expression. Explore diverse poetry forms, cultivate expressive writing, and embark on the captivating journey of spoken word poetry. A poetry club would also consist of possible workshops with professional poets in the city of our Las Vegas. Prepare for Poetry Out Loud, State to National Poetry Slam competition, and so many other possible opportunities. If you're interested in making this a brand new club next year, Please go to room 801 with Mr. Gonzalez, February 21st at 2 1 p.m. And further details will follow. Let's make next year a symphony of voices and verses. And GNN has launched its first ever podcast. Check out our first episode on Into the Den with GNN. Called from injury to college offers where Danny sits down with Elijah Adem about his fight to recover and get back on the court. And bookmark our Spotify podcast so you can keep up with the conversations around campus. And stay up to date with new episodes and news around campus that matters to you by following our Instagram account. SVHS GNN Den is the account we and we are posting important announcements along with some behind the scenes content. One of our sophomore needs your help with their project Y. Layla is collecting money for the Las Vegas Humane Society. She is collecting money that will go to supplies towards the pets to help them better their experience at the shelter. It gives the shelter the resources they need to protect more pets and strays from being euthanized. So donate, scan the QR code on screen, or just check out their page when making a donation in the comments. Write Spring Valley so they're aware the funds are coming from the school. Seniors, with the cold weather during the winter months, we'll be selling midway open leg sweatpants. Celebrate your last year of high school in style. Sweatpants are $25, cash only, and must be paid for at the bankery. After purchasing, please upload a picture of your receipt using the QR code below. Sweatpants will be delivered to you by the end of the month. Hey, Isa, what's going on with sports this week? Well, Brian, the flag football team is playing in the second round of playoffs tonight after a big win over Clark 20-6 and touchdowns from Nella, Kiana, and Jade. Jada, the Grizzlies are back in action tonight against Bonanza. It is a highly anticipated game and should be a good one. Get your tickets from the QR code on screen. Get out there and help support your ladies in playoffs. Congratulations to Girls Bowling for advancing to the state quarterfinals. Spring Valley beat Chaparral yesterday with a score of 6-3, with Jordan Bowling a high game of a 178. Today, the girls will be taking on Bonanza at the Orleans at 2.30 p.m., so go out and support them, Grizzlies. Are you interested in joining the men's volleyball team for the upcoming spring season? Tryouts will be held at 8 a.m. in the gym this Saturday on February 17th. You must have your register, My Athlete Completed, a physical uploaded in order to try out. See Coach Keith in room 917 for more details. And calling all baseball players, baseball tryouts will take place Saturday, February 17th at 9 a.m. at the baseball field. Anyone who wishes to try out must have a completed register my athlete. Softball players get ready. Softball intramurals are currently going on Monday through Thursday at 2.30 to 4.30 p.m. Tryouts will be Saturday, February 17th at 9 a.m. for newcomers from 9th and 10th grade and 10.30 a.m. For returning players in 11th and 12th grade, mark your calendars. Attention all 9th, 10th, and 11th graders who would like to be a part of the 2024 Grizzly football program. Join the returning letter winners as they prepare for the fall season getting bigger, faster, and stronger. The team workouts are Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays from 2.30 p.m. to 3.45 p.m. More information can be had by contacting Coach Teal. In local sport news with the Super Bowl over, the, the wraps up, that wraps up all the sporting events at the Elysian Stadium for the next couple of months. But in June, our first summer of soccer starts. This year, the U.S. will be hosting the Copa America, and we get three matches, two group stage matches and one quarterfinal. The first of these group stage matches is between Brazil and Paraguay. The second is Ecuador versus Jamaica, and for the quarterfinal here, it is possibly the U.S. plays here if they win their group against the runners of a group with Brazil and Colombia. The tickets aren't officially on sale yet, but when they do, you you will go Grizzlies. Hey, Rohin, what's the weather looking like for the rest of the week? Well, Isa, the weather seems on, to be on the rise this week, with Wednesday today being partially cloudy with a high of 63 and a low of 45. Then tomorrow it's sunny with a high of 62 and a low of 44. Then Friday we have a high of 64 and a low of 46. 
And we end off the week on Saturday partially cloudy with a high of 64 and a low of 48. Today for Black History Month, we will be talking about John Baxter Taylor. He was the first African American to win a gold medal in the Olympics. He competed in the 4 by 400 meter relay and won first place along with his three other teammates. John Taylor still left a huge inspirational footprint for African Americans who aspired to compete in sports. Now back to you at the desk, Sophie. Thank you, Raheem. Grizzlies, quench your thirst with the refreshing treats from Smoothie King. They are selling at both lunches. Both cash and card are accepted. We've got a variety of flavors to keep you cool. Angel food, Island Impact, and Pineapple Surf will all be sold for $5. Additionally, you can purchase Celsius energy drinks for a midday pick-me-up. Enjoy a delicious treat while also supporting the senior class. It's not just casinos who needs workers for their pools this summer, but the city of North Las Vegas needs to hire everything from water safety instructors to lifeguards to program specialists, and their pay is comparable to the casinos ranging from $14 to $22. You can apply, apply now by scanning the QR code or show up at their job fair on February 22nd from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. at North Las Vegas City Hall. This is Brian, Isa, Sophie, and Rohin of, of the, the Grizzly, Grizzly News Network. Network. Have, Have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday, Wednesday Grizzlies! Grizzlies.